This video was sponsored by the Institute for Mapping Technology, where you can learn GIS in a single day. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to use the Glovis platform from the USGS to download low-resolution, high-altitude photography. This is mainly from the Aster and Landsat satellites. This is probably not going to be useful if you're looking for precise buildings on the ground, but it is useful for environmental science. So first things first, uh, this is a free service, but to download the images, you're going to have to register to download your data, just so that I'm up front with that. Now, I don't like their interface much because it's just a bunch of black in the background. To make this meaningful, I've got a dot that tells me my tactical nuclear range of where I am, but I prefer to go to map layers and turn on states, which is called admin, admin boundaries. And now I see where I am in terms of states. And then I turn on cities. Now I've got a better idea of where I am. You will also notice that I have resolution capability of dropping from one kilometer down to 240. For right now, I'm going to keep my map resolution at one kilometer so that it's easier to navigate. Now I'm going to show you an example of Austin, Texas, because that's where I am. And I just go to the navigation map here and I click. So you can see the edge of the Texas outline. And Austin is here. Notice the overlap between the pictures is about 25 to 50 percent. This is a good practice called best practices by aerial photography companies and from satellite photography because you get better coverage in case one photo is obscured by clouds or there is a mechanical failure you still have coverage leading to another photo so this is showing you the area around Austin if I want to zoom in a little bit I've lost Austin but I know Austin's to the south so I can navigate over here a little bit if I want, well, Austin's right there, sorry. Almost lost it. I can also go up and down using this. Now, I'm going to zoom back out just because it's easier to do this. I have multiple scene capability, meaning different passes from different satellites. Notice the over here the scene selection information. It tells me CC, which is cloud cover, and it tells me the date of that photo, which is really important. The way you navigate in this awful interface is by going to the next scene button. I click next scene, and I'm now to November 6th, which was about a month ago, uh, three weeks ago, and there's lots of cloud cover, 89%. Go to the next one, and this is the 22nd of November. This is a week ago, and it's 33% cloud cover. So we back up until we find one that we like. Um, I like the October 29th. So I'm going to select that scene by highlighting it here with a yellow box around it. I click Add. And if I wanted to grab another one over here, College Station, I click Add as well. Now they've both turned green outlined over here. Notice that means they've been selected and are in my cart. Again, to download my cart, I have to be a registered user. 
I've already logged in. So I'm going to go straight to send to cart. It's going to pop up a notice. I'm going to ignore it and click OK. And it takes me immediately to my cart. Now I've got two images here. And I don't know which one's which because I didn't write it down before, but I'm going to go to this download button and I'm going to click on download and it's going to give me several options to download. I can choose it as a GeoTIFF which is 235 megs or I could download a quick JPEG which is only 8 megs. Depending upon what you're going to use it for is what you should download. Now I am just doing this for simplicity so I'm going to click on download of the JPEG and click select download option. And it's going to go ahead and tell me alright I can download now. So I'm going to click download now if I wanted to download it. But I'm not going to for the sake of this example. I'm done here. I'm going to click close and go to the next video which will be about the Earth Explorer website. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. And if you have any further interest in GIS or about learning GIS, please go to learninggis.com. We have other free data sources available and we now offer online classes in under a day.